Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about Java important questions for 2nd BSc 4th SM degree students. So the Java syllabus has been changed in SK University. So that's why I am uploading this video. So this video is helpful to all 2nd BSc degree students. Okay, so in first unit the important questions are what are the features of Java? So the features are simple small secure robust platform independent next multi-threaded compiled interpreted okay so these are the features of java next explain different data types in java integer character float double next one discuss about jvm jvm stands for java virtual machine Fourth one, explain super keyword and protected specifier. So this is one small question. Fifth one, discuss about control statements in Java. So those control statements are decision making statements, looping statements and switch statements. Sixth one, difference between procedural, object -orient, procedural programming and object oriented programming. Okay. Seventh one, what is array, different types of array. So single dimensional array, multi-dimensional array, two dimensional array. Eighth one, discuss about command line arguments. Ninth one, explain about accepting input from keyboard and displaying output. So in Java, we accept the input from keyboard by using a scanner class and we display output by using system.out.out println so in second unit the important questions are what is string explain about string class methods okay 11th one discuss about immutability of strings next discuss about features of oops abstraction encapsulation inheritance polymorphism class object so those are the features of oops next write short note on access specifier so there are four types of access specifiers public private protected and default next 14th one define constructor and different types of constructor so constructors are parameterized constructors and default constructors next define inheritance explain different types of inheritance so the inheritance types are single inheritance multiple inheritance multi-level inheritance hierarchical inheritance so in java multiple inheritance is not supported okay so that's why we use the concept that is interface next 16th one discuss about static variables static methods and static block so this is one five marks question okay next in unit third the important questions are discuss about polymorphism with example so you need to write the example program next what is typecasting explain in detail so you need to write the types of typecasting narrowing typecasting and widening typecasting 19th one discuss about multiple inheritance in interface multiple inheritance with interface okay so i already told multiple inheritance is not supported by java so that's why we use interface to support multiple inheritance next 20th question define package what are the different types of package okay next discuss about Compile time polymorphism. So this is one five marks question. Next, define exception handling. Discuss about exception handling. Next, difference between class and interface. And 24th question is, what is interface? Explain with example. So you need to write example program for this. So in unit 4, the important questions are, 
what is a stream explain different types of streams okay different streams available in java 26th how to create file using file input stream and reading data using file output stream so this is one important nmox question next 27th one discuss about zipping and unzipping so file zipping and unzipping next discuss about creation running terminating of thread 29th question discuss about thread life cycle 30th one what is thread synchronization and thread priority so these are the five marks questions thread synchronization and thread priority and also one more discuss about single tasking threads single tasking using threads okay so in last unit fifth unit important questions are what is applet explain in detail so in this question you need to write applet life cycle okay 34th question discuss about java database connectivity next explain different stages of jdbc so there are five stages okay you need to write all those stages next discuss about working with oracle and mysql and also connecting java by uh, using oracle and mysql next 37th one discuss about jdbc java database connectivity and odbc open database connectivity okay so discuss about J jdbc and odbc bridge drivers so okay i hope this is clear if you have any queries please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you